Two U.S. Navy sailors are being arrested for apparently selling naval secrets to China, and they both are of Chinese descent. David, this is going viral, and being of Chinese descent <laughs> ourselves, we have to talk about it. Yeah, man. I mean, from silly to serious, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the serious category. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, a lot of opinions. Nobody knows if it's true, if it's not true, if it's half true. Obviously, there's something here, right? Because right. I'm, I'm assuming the military, Andrew, is not going to trump up these charges for no reason. Yeah, so basically, long story short, David, what happened? Uh, Jin Chao Wei, a 22-year-old petty officer second class, was arrested as well as petty officer Wen Heng Zhao. They are both accused of selling naval secrets of different types to China, to a Chinese uh, intelligence officer, for about $15,000 each. Now they face life in prison. The other one faces up to 20 years. Right, and they have been arrested. They haven't been charged yet, obviously. So we're in the beginning stages of this case. Um, but yeah, I'm sure they wouldn't do it if they didn't have some evidence for it. I guess, David, uh, we're going to go through. There's just a bunch of different opinions on it. Obviously, a lot of people are questioning like, hey, these guys are Chinese immigrants. Why do they even have security clearance to anything secretive? Right. Right. And they're not that highly ranked. But obviously, does this... And this is the big question. Does it kind of reflect on other people of Chinese descent that are also in the armed forces? Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Um, I will honestly just say, first off, listen, if you do the crime, you got to do the time. Yeah. I don't know what they did, or, but if they're guilty of it, they should go to jail for a very long time. Because right. obviously, as a country, you do not want this. And it does look bad on uh, Chinese Americans as a whole. Obviously, some people are going to go, no, it doesn't reflect on me. Those are just individuals. But other people are going to be like, let's be honest here. A lot of people are going to stereotype people, right? Yeah, yeah. And there's going to be a lot of different reactions to this. Obviously, this feeds into the fear that China has spies in America. Obviously, Some uh, sort of a Red Dawn type movie thing going on, yeah, right? Yeah, and there are definitely in a time of war. I mean, there's always spies on each side. Uh, but yeah, that's not to say that it's okay. I, I would do want to note and, you know, not to, I, you know, we're American-born they happen to be both born and raised in China, and right. they came over here later in life. And I think they even got naturalized through an expedited military program through the, yeah. the Navy. You can, like, speed your process. Yeah, up. but regardless, I don't want to, like, draw that division. I guess, all right, my one joke here is, David— they sold the secrets for fifteen thousand dollars. That's not a lot, bro. <laughs> that's that's like a pretty good deal. You're saying that it was the lunch special at the Chinese Dude, spot. That was like a quarter of the price, right? Yeah, Chinese again giving great deals out there for high quality products. Um, how significant is it for ABCs to be like, oh, dude, you know, like, you know, these guys weren't like in an Asian frat or anything, and they're not in the EDM, you know, they're not AZN, BBT, KTV dudes. These guys are more like, you know, on on Garvey Ave, like eating chuar. Listen, the truth is. There have been spies in America throughout history that were American spies. That yeah, there was they, white spies. Yeah, yeah, white American spies. Obviously, now these guys are Chinese born. Could there be Chinese spies? Could be anybody. So that's what I'm going to say. They could be anybody. But obviously, if you have ties to that country, I guess people are going to make the argument. Yeah, you you might have more communication with people from that country. Whatever. Some people were saying that the media is especially going to focus on this case because it's going to get a lot of click through rate. Whereas. Um, white American spies in the military, for example, are generally going to have it handled internally and it's not going to turn yeah. into this big media push. Yeah, because this one feeds into the whole China taking over America thing. My last point before we get into the comment section is that 5% of the American armed forces are actually immigrants. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost 70,000 foreign-born people are serving in the armed forces. Um, so, obviously, there are quite a few uh, immigrants in the armed forces. So, I don't know. I mean... Uh the relationship with China obviously makes it more complicated. Um, I also want to say that I actually think that people are, like, not freaking about, out about this as much as I even thought. I think nowadays, you know, with Trump being accused of removing secret classified documents and Biden mm. doing it too, everybody's just like, man, this whole thing is a mess. Like, everybody's yeah. leaking everything. Yeah. Also, we don't know how secret these things were, or how, like, detrimental they are. Yeah. But obviously, regardless... If you join the armed forces, you should not be doing this type of thing. Don't it is do this. It is treason, okay? It is don't do... If you feel like... You're just, just don't do this. Um, let's get into the comment section, Andrew. Somebody said, let this be a warning. They are not loyal to the USA. Jin Wei, you don't say, huh? <laughs> Man. I mean, uh, what do you think? Do you think it's true or not that people are going to extrapolate this? I think that some people are and some people are not. I mean, I think, to me, the conversation from this comment is like, some people are like, yo, I hate to say it, but service members of Chinese descent should be under more strict scrutiny 
before being granted a clearance in the military, um, especially if they have more ties to China, you know? Right. Somebody said, we don't, uh, we have to reconsider our background investigation process. Sorry, but first generation Americans should not have access to classified material, especially when their parents yeah. are from countries that are deemed unfriendly at yeah. the moment. So I guess, should there be a distinction between American born and then like foreign born? And then if you came here at two years old, then you don't count. But if I'm born here, then I'm good to go. Then like, I'm just right. like any other man. Like, I guess- there should be filters on anybody trying to get clearance. Yeah. I mean, Everybody. I wouldn't be surprised if right now they're probably retooling some things over at the Navy, yeah. right? I don't know. I mean, they, they probably need to take a look at doing something, right? I mean, personally, I feel bad for a lot of the uh, naval officers who have rose the ranks, been great patriots to America, but they are of Chinese descent, and now they're being looked at with a little bit more scrutiny, you know? Of a side eye, right? Possibly, I but I, I think it depends. Like, yeah. some people are and some people aren't. I feel like nowadays a lot of people look at military service almost like more like a job mm. than they used to. Um, somebody said, you know, I was stationed on a boat, and it was so weird that there was people on our boat that barely spoke English. It kind of makes me wonder uh, how they do the screening. Yeah, so there's a lot of talk about how desperate the armed forces are to recruit people. Right, because a lot of people in 2023 that are American citizens born here do not want to join the military, yeah. any branch, right? I mean, what, David, they're, they're taking people on who have felonies. I think year, decades before they wouldn't do that. Obviously, there's a lot of people who are not born in this country, right, that are joining the military. Right, right, Obviously, right. Obviously, like, you know, and possibly also for the benefits, mostly for the benefits of the military versus, like, joining it to... Fight for uh, your country. I do think the American public does not view um, American military conflicts with this the, the same way that they used to. You mean like in because 30, a lot 40 of people are ago. like, we don't know what our government's actual motive is. Is it for oil? Is it for resources? Yeah. If for they tell us it's for this thing, but it's actually for that thing. So I do think that contributes to it too, right? Because they they have to lower the screening standards mm -hmm. to fill the roster spots, right? Um, somebody said capital punishment is not unreasonable in these type of cases. China would do it. Why can't we, huh? And at least discourage it in the future. I mean, um, I do think that, you know, being in a complex immigrant country like America, Andrew, it does m make things a lot more complicated on the back end, right? Yeah, yeah. I will say this, man. In uh, America is a very interesting place because obviously there's all different types of people here from all different origins. Right. And... Uh, that is always very interesting, and that's why we do have a lot of the issues and the conversations that we're having right now. Yeah, right? and I think we need to have tough discussions because, yeah, I think diversity is beautiful, but it is way more difficult. It's you, way more layered to the it onion. It requires like, a little bit more management. Right, for sure. Um, Somebody was, like, saying they're just slowly invading everywhere, man. They're all throughout our business and industrial sectors, too. Look at the spa balloon. Now we got this guy with a balloon face. Turf... <laughs> Because he, he did, uh, Wen Hang, he had a really round face. I, I think he was eating too much Tuars on Garvey, to be honest. Oh, Somebody man. said uh, there's over 300,000 Chinese foreign students in the U.S. too, and they're all cash customers, so the education institutions love them. This is really where all the real espionage happens. Yeah, but there was actually a lot of cases of Chinese professors being accused of espionage that actually turned out to be untrue. Right, there was. So... There's times where you wrongfully accuse people and then there's times where they get arrested and possibly with uh, um, these two guys that it is true. But we don't actually fully know yet. Right, but right, But there's right. probably some basis for it. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of cases and it's like when they're white, like an Edward Snowden or like, uh, I forgot the other person who Ames, like- there was like an Ames. There, there was Ames five. Hansen. There's been a ton of things. It's true that it's like- when there's white American spies, they're viewed as bad individuals and their families viewed as corrupt to get money to like live a better life because I guess government salaries, Andrew, are not very high, even if, you, if you're mm -hmm. at like the FBI or CIA. But obviously it doesn't reflect on all white people. Well, that's because white people are considered like the most patriotic to America. Right, right, So right. they're like, well, just well, they're because- like, we accumulated so many points, we could lose I a mean, couple. there's like a white American guy who got like radicalized to like join ISIS before that happened. Right, <laughs> like, right, right. But that's not gonna reflect bad on white people, of course, because the majority of white people you could say are more patriotic. Somebody said, who even cares about the USA as an ID anymore? Are we all just mercenaries, but with just different opportunities to be mercenaries? Who hey. cares about this constitution in 2023? Hey man, who made us all mercenaries? Who made everybody mercenaries? And uh, this guy pointed out, this guy said, man, 
I worked on the Essex as a naval man too, and our commanding officer, Captain Dusek, was charged in a bribery scandal where he was selling shift movement patterns to independent contractors so they could secure gigantic military contracts, and he ended up going to federal prison. So this was not the captain of the ship selling out to a foreign power, but rather military contractors. Right. So I don't know. Is still that, bad. Yeah, it's still bad. He still maybe went to jail. not uh, as bad as I and, guess. And so. I guess that's pointing out to the I guess the the money motivated mindset, right? Yeah. Andrew, let's go to get to some Asian comment sections. Somebody said, "Man, they were just waiting for us to mess up. So instead of calling us these robotic model minorities that are uncool, they could call us spies again." Yeah, you know, um, I read this really interesting comment that also said, "Man, you know." A lot of people, why they did it at first was for the small paycheck and the probably Chinese intelligence officer promised a larger bribery check down the road as the information got better. However, once that foreign operative knows who you are, they can use that leverage against you as to blackmail you so that you to, to give you up. Right. So, that, that would be very cheap on the Chinese intelligence officer side, too, because they're like, no, nah, I already gave you 15000 You want another fifteen? How yeah, much yeah. does food really cost on Garvey? Yeah. Um, somebody said, you know, I'm in the U.S. military right now. Even though this case happened, I don't feel any shift in tone towards me mm. by my fellow officers. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good to hear. Obviously, I think he's proven himself, the people around him. I don't know what the higher-ups think. Again, within the military, David, it's true that we see this headline, but we don't know how big of a deal this is to the military. We understand it is a big deal to the media. Obviously, it's a big deal, but I'm saying, like, does that make every Chinese person more scrutinized in the armed forces? I don't know. Let don't us know so. in the comments section below, guys. You know, we're a little bit outside of that world, pretty removed from that fishbowl, so I, I don't really have a good read on it. Um, somebody said, all Chinese Americans should stand up and demand that they get harshly punished, and that way we we can counter the racism and stereotypes against us. And I was like, yeah, uh, maybe if this was like World War II, yeah. like people would need to turn on the Haradas who helped that like uh, down like Pearl Harbor Japanese pilot. Oh, it was yeah. like this whole incident on this island in, uh, called Nihau. I, I swear to God, the island's called Nihau in Hawaii. Anyway, guys, look that up. But um, somebody said, what about white spies that were way higher up in the hierarchy that directly led to other deaths? What, what do people think about all the white spies? Because I guess there's a long history, Andrew, of people selling out the spies that are in Russia that are for the American side for a bunch of money, and then those spies got killed. So. Right, right, right. Because like a place like Russia or even China would definitely execute the spies. Yeah, to be yeah, honest, they would. They would. And um, somebody said they need a ton of Chinese immigrants to run the military tech, just like Silicon Valley does. A lot of Americans do not want to do those type of jobs nowadays because it's too much math and lab work. Mm. So they were saying that you cannot avoid having Chinese Run the computer systems. Well, what a conundrum. You need the Chinese brains for your capitalistic society, but uh, then you distrust them. So I, here's the thing about being Chinese, man. We're always perpetual foreigners, but then people want to like align us with white people sometimes, right. but then we're also the enemy. I feel like in the and streets, like, people feel like we're white adjacent, but then when we are in more like higher level geopolitical facing things, then you're almost like the most mistrusted. Yeah, but then we're also <laughs> not counted as full minorities. Yeah. I don't know, guys. It's so confusing being Asian, man. No, I think it's really confusing being like Chinese specifically yeah. too, to be honest. Um, yeah, anyway, Andrew, let's just get into our takeaways. You know, like I said, it's not like an easy thing, I think, for a lot of Chinese Americans to, to to sink their teeth into because nobody really knows. They're like, okay, did this reflect on the group? Does it not? This yeah. is like it's almost one of the first times because you're almost more used to seeing the cases where they falsely accuse somebody than, than potentially this one where it looks like they are guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I would, I guess I'm actually interested in hearing their reasonings for selling the secrets. Like if I could sit down with them and I would ask them, I'd be like, bro, you risked your life for 15K. That's not that much money to risk your life. Especially if you join the military and you make that oath. Like we're like, we know a lot of people not in the military. Like don't yeah. join the military and commit treason. Cause I was reading about the FBI and CIA, like white Americans that flipped to join the Soviet Union. They yeah. got paid the equivalent of the US like 15 million. Yeah. Like so I'm saying they got, they got paid a lot, but I guess like what, <laughs> What about America made you feel like you wanted to turn your back on America? Right. Do you feel disenfranchised? Yeah. Do you feel left out? Or do you like, were you just or, still stuck in the old mindset? Or 
where they, and some people accuse them of always being spies. The second they landed in America at the age of 14, yeah. 15, they were already indoctrinated. Well, I was reading something that's saying that like people who don't feel very important, uh, they're like, if you just make them feel important, they feel yeah. like it like spices no, I mean, up their life. I don't know, man. It happens with industries too, like companies, uh, like people who sell comp- or are whistleblowers for companies against you. Yeah. I, I think that the U.S. is probably going to come down pretty harsh on them to prevent mm. this future thing in the future. Like, I don't know exactly. Let's just say out of 10 levels, they had access to like rung number uh, one or rung number two in terms of like high tier information. But they, they, they'd rather make an example out of those guys that are giving away that low tier information than risk somebody in the future giving away like eight out of 10 level info. Right. Yeah, so... um. Do I feel bad for all the other Chinese guys with like, especially with Chinese names in the U.S. military? Yeah, if it impacts them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I mean, think about it. Even you could be of Taiwanese descent, which is obviously a different nationality and different identity. And then you could be in the military. And I don't know. I mean, I think it depends. I think that, you know, maybe within, I, I don't know how it works. You guys let me know. In the, if you're from the military, let me know. If it's possible that a lot of other Chinese guys in the armed forces are feeling the heat right now uh, wrongfully, you know, because of this, or maybe this, maybe people in the, in the military are smart enough to be like, no, that's the individuals that we yeah. got to just vet people. Better. I kind of have a feeling in 2023. I don't know. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, that more and more people are kind of like treating the military just like a job. And a, a way to get uh, them out of their circumstances. Yeah, it's possible. So I mean, I think that that changes it too, right? Because yeah. not everybody's like, they're, they're just kind of just yeah. treating it like a company. Yeah, it would be even bigger news if these guys like graduated from West Point, you know, like the Naval Academy. Yeah. Like that's like the Harvard of the Navy, you know. No, for sure. It'd be a way bigger deal. Yeah. I, I think I think my last thing is like, man, to be Chinese and be considered patriotic is so hard because like I feel like I'm patriotic to America in, in ways, you know, right. I, I don't do anything bad to America. I pay our taxes. We're safe. We, you know, we help people out. We create content. We're speaking English when we're creating our contents for right. the English American market. Right. right? Uh, I feel patriotic, but then like people are still going to look at me and be like, Oh, like you guys aren't patriotic enough. And especially look at these guys, more you guys who are from the St. Gabriel Valley, uh, eating food on Valley Boulevard and Garvey Ave. Yeah. Y'all, y'all ain't never seen a slice of Americana yeah. life to, in your, in your, where you guys eat dumplings five days out of the week and beef noodle soup, like three, days of the week and you guys aren't american and i'm like man we can never be patriotic enough obviously these guys listen these guys committed treason i'm saying <laughs> so i'm not comparing them to me i'm just saying as i'm just like it just made me think about it no for sure for sure it's interesting let us know what you guys think in the comment section below keep it civil until next time with the hot pot boys we out peace, peace.